Well, um, my hair was permed about two hours before filming. It's a little stiff, but overall, now y'all are gonna be seeing permed camera. Roll the intro. To the new people in the audience, a blue beauty and null is a large body and null. Kind of related to night and all small with eyes, Luca Garris, all of them. The largest known and all, to my knowledge, you know. Let me find out a year they discovered super giant blue beauty and it's double the size. Oh no, that that was a joke. I don't think that's gonna happen or is I don't know, English. But they're a large body and null. Find them in Cuba. You know, some can vary, some are higher blue, some have higher yellow, some are more considered to be what is the common place when you uh purchase a blue beauty you know yeah so now that we got that bit out of the way you know what they are are they invasive in florida no the only one of the equestrious genus and all that bullshit is um nidinals the regular old nidinals no real interesting pattern but they are the ones of all the stupid morphs and all the crazy high blue lines and all that they're not stupid i like them i'm i'm very much on a highway to get a basil albino thing going yeah. but you know that now you know where they're from you know they're not invasive anywhere so yeah let's go talk about probably where most of y'all learned about them so as many of y'all probably did this you hopped on youtube one day and dave Kaufman released a video at ryan st pierre's place showing off the magical new annuls ah. and that's how probably a lot of y'all learned annuls were more than green annuls to me I, I kind of don't remember if I knew a little bit about some gnolls or new. Uh, I, don't, I think that video came out before, a lot before that, but I don't know. We'll find out. But, you know, that's how we could say most people got into a gnolls. But, uh, but you know, um, what did that make me think? It's all the Luca Garris. Look at this guy. So this is a this is a Western giant night and all. It's a white Western Western giant white lipped. Night and all. Night and all, right. Saw all the other gnolls in that video. I'm like, holy shit. This is so sick. Oh my god. How are people saying the blue beauty and all is the best of them? And that's what I thought. Yeah. But I still think that. Uh, keep watching. Now, the second experience I have this in was in person because I live in Texas, which means David at Electric Reptile vins at the same exit as I've been dead. I also have a male baby mm -hmm. from it that we're yeah. raising up. So hopefully we'll be able to prove that out, you know, whether it's a genetic mutation or not. In the but I got the same in person. And what did I think then? Why are they basic green? It's because they were fired down in juveniles because I didn't ask. I went and looked at the crested geckos next to it, the table, and I was like, oh my god, crested geckos, that one has two more spots than the other one, it's so sick. That, that's, that's actually what happened too, like, I'm not even playing it, that was fun. And then, won a little, one little reward from Dave Kaufman from an interview thing, then I, um, was in another interview with, uh, Ryan. There's over 600 frogs with just a regular pair of, um, yellow belly toads. We then, um, I managed to get my first real footing in the adult world, which is Cuban false canals. I still work with them, they're amazing. Uh, you can't talk shit about them, they're the best in all still. Uh, they're, they beat Blue Beauties in my book every day of the week still, so yeah. I meant that. Like, I, I genuinely meant that. Oh my god, is that James from that one niche video I posted on Instagram? That's why you should sub and subscribe I'm and like my content. So if I thought all of that, why did I even get a pair? But my buddy hit me up asking me if I'd like to buy a proven pair of blue bees, a baby blue beauty, and a proven pair of Luca Garris. I love Luca Garris, so I hopped on that deal and I folded like an omelet. I don't know. But, you know, I got them. And why did I get them still? Because I didn't like them. Well, it's because I believe simply if it was a proven pair, if I didn't like them, I could have just traded or bought sold them and bought something else that um i would have liked uh a lot better like other annuls and guess what i i really like them like i i really enjoy blue beauties now like um I, a lot of the shit i've been saying about them i take back for example um 
I, I, w I did not understand why people wanted to line breed for high blues when nitinols already have high blues that you can find in the wild of Florida. So it made no sense to me. And then I got to hold a high blue male, blue beauty, which is all over the thumbnail, and I completely understand why people want a high blue of that intensity. Because that blue is the brightest blue I've ever seen on any reptile. It's beautiful. Yeah. But do I want high blues? Oh heavens, no. I like them when- I like high blue animals with amazing yellow spl- everywhere. It looks magnificent inside now. And that's because it was hot and plus all that, the humidity was annoying and mosquitoes were eating me up. Hands were looking crazy. Talk about blue beauties. Now this is the female I currently have. Now me and her, we uh, we have an interesting relationship. Actually while trying to get the male out to show y'all. Uh, she jumped out of the cage, proceeded to climb up behind me, right there, go up to the roof of the cages, which as you know has my Farius and Leishia, it's almost the top of my roof, proceeds to jump all the way to the rack over here, which is all the cages with the small wood eye Cubans, uh, red brown nose tackies, and all that, jumps onto them, is almost all the way there, and is climbing on their UV bars, shimmies her way up in between the rack things, like the little rates I guess you can say and then proceeds to jump on my wall and then looks at me hisses mouth gaping jumps at me tries to bite me I wrap her up in my shirt so she doesn't bite me and will actually let go and then we're I was like okay um you did all that um I guess we're gonna have you as the co-host right now but as you know I, oh okay Cool. But as you know, anoles will pretty much look better with age till they die. Till they'll, well, not till they die. You know, the last couple of years they start to, you know, lose a little color, not get as, as tense as they did in their younger years. But she's fading all this green to pretty much blue. Which will be a sighting because it'll help make the babies a bit better. But um, I call her Lilith, as I mentioned. She's kind of a little spunky little rabbit as the chase sequence I described. <clears throat> I love her. But, um, you know, as you know, my project with Blue Beauties is this where the part of the video is, where I just explain where my project is now that I like them, is that I want to um, line breed, right? Uh, try to avoid as much inbreeding as possible, you know? But I want to essentially breed for high yellows and make super high yellow animals, but not exactly all 100% of the animal is this bright neon yellow, but definitely want to get a good 60% in there, minimum, or 80. We'll find out how it goes, but that's nice. It's going to be fun. What do y'all think? Do you like Lilith? Is she your favorite? I'm enjoying her. She's kind of a little spunky girl. What do y'all think? This is the Blue Beauty and all I talk so much shit about, and one of the amazing Blue Beauties that made me say, wait a minute, y'all are sick. What do y'all think? Leave a like for Lilith, a comment for all the other Anoles. Yeah, second I cut off the camera, boom. I still love them though, but now I have to go get her off of me.